Thank you. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Um, I'm single with married friends. This is fun. <laughs> People treat marriage kind of like it's a plate at dinner. They're like, oh my gosh, it's so good. Try some. <laughs> no, I'm good. They set me up on blind dates. and I feel bad for these women that, that, that show up. My friends are nice, so they're not getting the whole story, you know. There's no nice way to say fat guy. I think that's the problem. You know, women have fun ways of saying it, you know. It doesn't work the other way. You can't be like, hey, you should meet my friend Nathan. Oh, really, what's he like? Yeah, he's really nice, you know. Is, is he hot? He's voluptuous. <laughs> he is sassy and he is curvy. <laughs> Nobody is showing up for that date. Oh. <laughs> I am trying trying to lose weight. Um, I've been working out and dieting, which is terrible. I don't know. I tend to turn into like a high school girl every time I diet. Like day one, like I show up to the gym at 8 a.m., ready to go, yoga pants and a sports bra, just <laughs> pumped. <laughs> day two, I reward myself with a trip to McDonald's afterwards, because come on, ladies, let's not starve ourselves. <laughs> And then day three, I just end up at Taco Bell at two in the morning, just eating by myself, crying, listening to Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. Just <laughs> I was sorry that I'm real, you know? <laughs> I'm just too real for people, you know? <laughs> Words won't bring me down. <sighs> I don't know. My friends try to help me out. They're like, hey, Nathan, just be honest and confident. It's like, nah. I can be one or the other, you know. Because together it's just like, hey, how are you? Yeah. My name is Nathan Owens. I'm 23. I live at home with my parents. <laughs> my ideal evening? Well, it's uh, probably getting drunk and playing Madden by myself. That would be it. I have a created player. He is very good. I have to create myself and I have to be good <laughs> on a video game. That's how my mind works. I'm like, I just can't play with real athletes. Doesn't make sense. Um, I do live at home. My parents are great. Uh, they're, they're a lot of fun. Um, one thing is, my mom likes to have us all for dinner. If we're all there, you can't miss dinner. I missed it once. Came home from work, took a nap. Um, came downstairs a little while later. My dad goes, Nathan, where were you? Sorry, I fell asleep. Well, we texted you. <laughs> S sorry. He goes, well, that's really frustrating, Nathan. What if the house had been on fire? <laughs> you would text me if the house was on fire? <laughs> what does that text say? Hey, you up? <laughs> house is on fire, SMH, you know? <laughs> what do you tell the fire department? Sir, has anybody else left in the house? I don't know. Uh, we texted Nathan, so it says delivered if you guys want to go go try something. Oh, I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, yeah. Um, went to a funeral a few weeks ago, you know, because somebody died, like you do, you know. Because death comes for us all. That's a little bit of observational humor for you guys. That was... <laughs> No, I, uh, it was a very nice service, beautiful service. On the way out, though, I saw a, a sign that said, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. <laughs> what is a funeral home tweeting about? <laughs> hey, had a great time with the Millers this weekend. Hashtag RIP, Steve. <laughs> uh, retweet for a chance to get 50% off your next purchase. Hashtag Yodo. <laughs> Oh, Facebook, I guess they post a lot of pictures, you know. <laughs> Brown casket, blue suit, who wore it best? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, like, I feel bad every single time I say that one. Oh, man. I don't like babies, speaking of the other side of all that. <laughs> People always want you to hold their babies, and like that freaks me out because they're just like, hey, here's Jello with the skeleton. Don't break it. Because <laughs> like, there's only two things you can possibly do with a baby hold it or drop it. <laughs> there's not like a great third option like hold it, drop it, gives you cash. And I'm just like, yeah. I would hold a baby for cash. I think I could do that. And like, there's, there's a part of me that every single time I hold a baby, I'm just like, 
if I just dropped one, I would never have to hold one again. Like, and I'm not saying if I'm like on concrete, I'm just like, Pfft. no, but if there's like a couch around and I could kind of roll it onto the couch, just get that reputation, like a stunt baby or something like that. I don't know. They bounce, they kind of bounce back. So. Oh. Speaking of babies, I don't like birthdays. People throw babies birthdays. I'm not gonna remember it. It's like, what are you doing? Like, I don't know. It's just like, hey, here's fire and sugar. Put it in front of a baby, see what happens. <laughs> Nothing good. But that birthday song, though, I, I do like. I do like the birthday song. What lyrical master <laughs> crafted that, you know? It's like he forgot the words were due until the very last day. And he's like, hey, Johnson, you got the birthday song? Yeah, boss. Why don't you sing it for us? Um, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. And then you just put it into your name and just. Happy birthday to you. He's a genius. We'll sing it from now on. Uh, I was born in 1990, so I grew up with Disney which was fun. Um, and I had two sisters and Disney, so I know every princess song. That's because my mother wanted to teach us about government very early. She goes, all right, guys, we're going to vote. Do you guys want to watch Davy Crockett or Little Mermaid? And I got voted two to one every single time. I don't know. It didn't work. Um, People say Disney's racist. I, you know, you know, it's maybe, I don't really know. I just don't think they do any research. I think that's the problem. They're just kind of like, all right, guys, we've got the movie Dumbo. We have some fun cartoon birds. What should we name this one? Jim. All right. Jim the bird. What kind of bird? Crow? Jim Crow. <laughs> You know what? It's going to be okay. Don't give him a stereotypical voice, though. That's going to... People are going to catch on. Jasmine's costume. That's a good one. The animator's sitting around. Hey, what do we got, guys? Oh, let's see. We got an Arabic woman living in the 15th century. Bikini top, parachute pants. Call it a day. The women wear less clothing over there because it's really hot. So, that's how it works. I'm a very competitive person. I don't like to lose. Um, people are always like, hey, Nathan, just calm down. Have fun. And I'm like, winning's fun. And I'm going to have more fun than anybody else. So I was playing a trivia game, and this was for the win. And they were like, all right, Nathan, finish this sentence. Look at this stuff. Isn't it blank? Um, oh, okay. I'm probably going to get this one wrong. Uh, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Once you think my collection's complete, once you think I'm the girl that girl has everything. Look at this trope, treasure and told. How many wonders can one cover hold? Look at what you think. Sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos and plenty. I've got who's that and what's this galore. She want to think about bobs? I got 20. But who cares? <laughs> no big deal. I want more. <laughs> That's all I've got, guys. I'm Nathan Owens. Thank you very much. <laughs>